514. There are not a lot of brackets left standing anymore for the NCAA tournament. Yes, set them on fire. But an unlikely set of twins, Julia, they're pretty doing pretty darn well. I know this is so crazy. Meredith has the story of two 13 year old boys with a surprising bracket. Cole and Gavin Johnson are twin brothers. Make a video. Yep, you're making a video. Both boys were born premature. Gavin is neurotypical, but Cole has cerebral palsy. Having cerebral palsy is definitely um, a challenge in its own way, and it's a blessing in other ways. Well, in the Johnson family, they love basketball. When it came time to filling out brackets, um, everyone in the family filled one out, and Cole didn't quite uh, want to fill one out. So Gavin came up with an idea to get him involved um, by flipping a coin. And he took it a step further, using Siri to say heads or tails, because Cole loves technology. Heads or tails. It's tails. So they submitted a bracket online, made up entirely by chance. And as they went through their bracket, we kind of thought, this is a terrible, <laughs> this is a terrible bracket because he chose every single upset and every team that we thought there's no way that he's gonna go very far in it. But the boys were having fun and that was what mattered. Then earlier this week, they got online to check their brackets against the millions of others that were submitted. We were wondering kind of where everyone was and mine was like 1.3 millionth place and you know, Gavin was somewhere in the 785,000. And we looked, where's Cole? And Cole had made it all the way to third place. A third place bracket out of millions of submitted brackets. He was beating almost everybody in America. It was amazing. Now, since Saturday, his bracket has taken a hit. It's fallen to 288th place, but even that is an amazing spot. All of this from a set of 13-year-old twins, one with cerebral palsy, right here in Indiana. That is awesome. And of course, <laughs> you talk about divine intervention. Who do you think he's got winning it all? Loyola, Loyola, Loyola and Chicago. There we go. You got to love that. That is just a great story. And you just know that those two are never going to forget that this year as far as the tournament goes. And so how kind of his brother, too, to make oh, yeah. sure he is involved and that they can do that project together. And they fell to 288. That's not much of a fall when you're talking about millions. millions.